Simeon Solomon was perhaps one of the most famous and most important pre-Raphaelite artists of his day, but sadly his career and life as he knew it came to an end abruptly on the 11th of February 1873 when he was arrested in a public toilet off Oxford Road in London, caught in a sexual act with another man by a policeman. The scandal that enveloped Simeon Solomon after his arrest meant that his friends quickly abandoned him, galleries stopped exhibiting his work, and some collectors of his work even destroyed pieces, so disgusted were they with him. His early work was uh, closely related to his Jewish faith and includes scenes from the Old Testament as well as more contemporary images of worship and devotion. Once Solomon came under the influence of Rossetti, there was a marked change in his work. He started to paint more scenes from literature and we also start to see images of women painted sensually in classical settings, including the watercolour Girl at a Fountain in the collection of the Lady Libre Art Gallery. Another important body of work by Solomon were his paintings of contemporary religious life. Predominant among these were studies of men, often clergymen and rabbis, in church interiors. A great example of this is the painting The Mystery of Faith in the Lady Libre Art Collection. It was commented upon then, and it has been since, that often these paintings are really studies of male beauty. Ultimately, Solomon lived on the fringes of society, often living on the street for periods of time and working as a pavement artist. He was also said to be dependent on alcohol and spent periods in the poorhouse where he ultimately died. But others have chosen to see something more positive in Solomon's story. In the asylums, he refused to undergo treatments and to acquiesce to their decisions. He didn't apologise for his behaviour and try to reintegrate himself into society. He stuck true to himself and lived by his own morals and ideals. Solomon has been largely overlooked since his death. He's often been excluded from important exhibitions and art histories written about the period. But we have seen that start to change, particularly from the 1960s onwards. More recently, he was included in the Queer British Art Show at Tate, and galleries like ourselves are doing more to make Solomon's incredible art visible and to tell his history.